time for your Sunday Money with our Money Man, Certified Financial Planner, Paul Fain. Today we have a little bit of a grab bag of current events and different news that are affecting our finances. Paul, what is kind of the top thing that is making headlines right now that people will notice? Well, Leslie, uh, Social Security has announced a cost of living adjustment uh, for next year, effective January 1, 2020. It'll be a 1.6% bump, which is less than the 2.8% bump that retirees experienced last year. So the average Social Security benefit is about 1460 Those folks will be getting about a $23 raise. So everybody likes a raise. Everybody <laughs> likes to go to Burger King and take a friend, right? Right. And this uh, is also insurance enrollment time right now. I know we yeah. just had ours at our office, and especially for the people that will be using the marketplace enrollment as well. Well, exactly, exactly. So there's several things going on. If you're retired and on Medicare, then you've got from mid-October to early December to make uh, your choices in terms of do you want to stay in Medicare traditional? Do you want to switch to an Advantage plan? Do you want to change your prescription drug plan? Like you were saying, in the corporate world, it's usually open enrollment between October mm -hmm. and December for two weeks or sometimes two months where you might change health insurance, life, disability, sign up for the 401k, change your flexible spending account. Now, these uh, impacts go into effect at the beginning of the year. They're usually locked in for the year, Leslie, mm -hmm. unless you have a, a defining event, marriage, divorce, birth, death, and things like that. Yeah. So really end up spending a lot of time to make sure you pick the best, best plan because they can be kind of confusing to navigate as well. Yeah. Well, that's a great point because maybe what was working for you this year, mm -hmm. maybe your circumstances have changed and you need to make some adjustments. Make some adjustments as well. All right. Nationally, a lot of eyes still on President Trump in this uh, impeachment process as well. Yeah. So a lot of daily drama. A lot of folks are on edge. You can't let politics make your or impact your investment decisions. Remember what really drives the stock market. Company and business profits. The direction of interest rates is the cost of money you know, going up or going down in terms of the cost to borrow, mm -hmm. uh, you know, consumer sentiment, investor sentiment, the global economy, all these things go into, go into the long-term impact of the stock market. Definitely. Any other fun facts for us today? Well, in terms of our uh, fast market facts, I thought we would take a peek at two other impeachments. Remember mm -hmm. back in the 70s, Nixon was impeached. The market went down about 1.7%. Seven percent. Mm -hmm. Clinton was impeached in 1998. That day, the market went up 1.2 percent. So it really is more a story of what was going on in the 70s: recession, stock market was going down; 90s, stock market was going up. Yeah, the, a lot of different factors. Yeah, yeah. So that's more important than what we want to believe. Yeah, excellent. Paul, where can we send you questions if we have them? Yeah, please do it. Paul at assetplanningcorp.com. Love to hear from you. Awesome, Paul. We always appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good to